The Lower Atmosphere Observing Facilities, the LAOF, is a collection of unique facilities that provide services to the NSF researcher community. The LAOF provides uh, a capability for doing airborne research or for getting very advanced and expensive equipment that no individual university or principal investigator could have. The LAOF maintains not only an array, a wide array of instrumentation, but all of the expertise that's needed to properly operate and tune that instrumentation to the particular needs of the PI. The Earth Observing Laboratory operates and manages the largest portion of the lower atmospheric observing facilities. We have four more partner organizations, and those include the University of Wyoming, Department of Atmospheric Science, Colorado State University, Department of Atmospheric Sciences and Electrical and Computer Engineering, Center for Interdisciplinary Remotely Piloted Aircraft Studies, and the Center for Severe Weather Research. It's a lot of cutting edge development that's happening in this laboratory. You can be building something and you know, use it and just modify it next time and keep going. I think researchers will find new things to measure and new places to measure them. And the LAOF facilities are great for adapting to these new types of field campaigns. What we do here never gets boring. There is not one single field campaign that is the same. We pretty much handle everything for the investigators so that they can focus on the science and they can make sure they get what they need. We're here to serve and that service includes assisting in the preliminary design of the effort. I think the imagination of our investigators is the only limit on, on the impacts that LAOF will have on advanced atmospheric sciences. Here at NSF, we're continuously considering a wide array of competing ideas, some of them from individual investigators, some from larger groups, and all together, uh, the LAOF seeks to serve both of those equitably. It is part of the challenge being at the cutting edge of observational science and seeing that engineering talent and development in designing sensors, instruments, integrating them onto existing platforms and designing new platforms and putting them to use in the observational sciences.